Magnesium reacts with oxygen as shown in the equation below, where we've got magnesium plus oxygen goes to magnesium oxide. If we have a look, it is a balanced equation. There are two magnesiums and two oxygens on the reactant side, and it produces two magnesiums and two oxygens on the product side. Calculate the percentage yield of the reaction, given that burning 2.28 grams of magnesium produced 2.45 grams of magnesium oxide, and we've been given the relative atomic masses of both magnesium and oxygen. So before we start, we need to know what percentage yield is. And essentially, when we do these calculations, we will calculate a mass produced. But when we do the reactions in real life, that calculated mass is not the same as the mass that you actually produce. Because what tends to happen is, if we predict this mass to be something like 30 grams, or we calculate it to be 30 grams, we may only produce 25 grams in real life. And so the percentage yield is the mass produced, which would be 25 grams, over the total theoretical mass, which would be 30 grams, times 100. So in this case here, we can see that 2.45 grams of magnesium oxide is produced, and that's our mass produced. We would then divide that by the total theoretical mass, and again, that's just like your typical masses from equations that we usually calculate. And we multiply by 100 because it's a percentage. So we don't have the total theoretical mass. We have the mass produced, and that is 2.45. So to calculate that total theoretical mass, as I said, it's just your typical masses from equation question, where we've got 2.28 grams of magnesium are reacted. So we can calculate the number of moles of magnesium which we can then use to calculate the number of moles of magnesium oxide to then calculate the mass of magnesium oxide that could theoretically be produced. So the number of moles, remember, is equal to the mass over the relative formula mass. So in magnesium, the mass is 2.28. And we divide that by the relative formula mass or the relative atomic mass in magnesium, because it's not a formula, it's just an atom on its own. So that's 24. If you put that into the calculator, you will get 0 0.095. If we then look at our balanced equation, we can see that 2 moles of magnesium produces 2 moles of magnesium oxide, which means it's in a 1 to 1 ratio. So if we react 0 0.095 moles of magnesium, that means we're going to produce 0 0.095 moles of magnesium oxide. We can then rearrange this equation over here to calculate the mass. So that would be mass equals the number of moles times the MR. Remember, the number of moles is 0 0.095. We've just calculated that. The MR will be Mg, which is 24, plus 16, which is the O. So that's 40. And that is an MR because that's a formula. And then if you put that into your calculator, you will get an answer of 3.8. So that means 3.8 grams is what is theoretically possible. But in the reaction that was done here, we only produced 2.45. So the percentage yield is 2.45 divided by 3.8 times 100. So if you put that into your calculator, 2.45 divided by 3.8 times 100, you'll get an answer to three significant figures of 64.5%. And that's the answer.